I'm Alex Mary Fahiga and I am addic ad addicted to shopping for groceries. Okay, yeah, I said it. I said it. There, there I said it. Hey, hey, can I get some help over here? No, you stupid bitch. Disclaimer, you'll see a lot of packaging. I'm sorry, I'm a college student and things with packaging cost less. And the farmer's market is only open on the days I work. Now let's get into this. We're gonna start off with our fresh produce. As a vegan, you know we eat grass. So I got two packets of spinach. I have the spinach for iron or I just eat it cold in salads, but what? I have the spinach for iron. It tastes good, especially if you add seasonings to it and you heat it up, so. I have romaine lettuce hearts because that's what I put my chickpea tuna salads in and it just adds a nice little boat for some toppings. And then I just have a bunch of kale because kale actually tastes pretty good if you put some nice seasonings on it and you add some olive oil and you just make it chips or you make it into a salad. And then you know a lot of people like to eat potatoes and all that stuff. This week I didn't get potatoes, I got boniatos. And boniatos are like, they look like this. Boniatos are basically like Spanish type of sweet potatoes, that's what my mom would say and they taste really delicious and they're sweet and they're similar to Japanese sweet potatoes but cheaper and then we have some green grapes because Annie reminded me how delicious green grapes are and also Diana when she freezes them I remember how good frozen grapes taste and I just need to try that again and then I've got some baby carrots which is kind of an issue because I love getting baby carrots and I love to have it all the time but if I don't eat them quick enough they'll become white and dehydrated and that freaks me out sometimes so I don't want to eat it but I'm gonna take good care of these. Then I got some green beans. I honestly don't eat green beans basically ever, but I thought it'd be something fun to try and a new vegetable to discover because I think they're in season, they were pretty cheap, so I want to give them a shot. And then I got some cauliflower, honestly, just because I like to cook up my cauliflower in the air fryer. Sometimes I'll make cauliflower wings if I have time, but I probably won't, but I still decide to get it. Next up, I got something for the ladies, literally. They're pink lady apples. <laughs> This was the bag of apples that I saw had the most and they're priced by bag, so make it make sense. Gotta work with what you got. Next, I'm gonna show you all of the frozen things that I got. First up, there's nothing more to add. There's literally nothing, I always get this. I normally get this big bag of cherry berry blend that you guys have seen me get before, but this week they didn't have that. So I just got these two bags of mixed berries and one big bag of strawberries. I love having edamame in my stir fries or as a snack or in most of my meals as protein. So I got some edamame. And then the last thing that I got is something that I've actually never gotten before in my entire life, which is hash browns. So oh, yes. I hate you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I honestly just thought this would sound good if I put like a tofu scramble or something with it. So I thought it'd be delicious. Now this is frozen, but it kind of leads us into our next section, which is Things that are just nah, random. And I got these samosas. I thought this was pretty cool because as you guys saw in my Christmas Day video and everything, I went to an Indian restaurant with Gio called Aisha and they had samosas as an appetizer and it was so delicious. And the fact that I can get it from Aldi, I, I had to, I, I just had to. The next few things, as I said before, are kind of like extras. They're not really necessary, but for me, they're necessary for my soul, for my well-being, my mental health. And the first item that is very essential is yogurt specifically this forager cashew milk yogurt on accident i had two publixes restock their orders of cashew milk i don't i don't want to talk about it i went to the wrong one and it's it's fine but now two publixes have cashew milk yogurt and it's necessary honestly because i love it when i have it with protein powder and this next item a strawberry watermelon flavor drop it changes the game so much flavor Oh my God, it just, it's so real. Like, And I feel like it's gonna become one of those foods that I just eat way too often eventually. I will get tired of, but for now, I'm gonna enjoy it for as long as it lasts. If you watch my What I Eat in Weeks, which is a high probability, you see that in my yogurt bowls, I add puffed rice. I, I love puffed rice. Even though people say it looks like mealworms and maggots, they're delicious because honestly, it's just a way to add crunch. Honestly, I know myself, I can finish a whole box of cereal in less than two days, so this helps out. I can have this with my cereal and I can finish in about four days. So, rice puffs, definitely a necessity. And if you don't like rice, there's also kamut puffs, which is just puffed wheat, but 
rice puffs are what give me the perfect crunch and don't hurt my stomach too much. But then next up, something that's not necessarily essential as well, but necessary for my soul, is PB2. This one actually has a flavor that's similar to peanut butter and when I have it with peanut butter, it's just delicious and it's a way to bulk it up. And if you're making peanut butter cookies, or peanut butter pancakes, you can add this to help balance out flavor and stuff and add more to it. I love PB2. The other thing I got are some chips. I got these salt and vinegar chips. These are salt and vinegar quinoa chips. This is kind of a new addition that Aldi has had for the past month. They have it in sea salt, barbecue, but I like the salt and vinegar chips. And it might sound weird, but I like the texture of the quinoa chips way better than I do Lay's salt and vinegar, so. Next up are these country rice rolls. I honestly love having country rice rolls and so does my mom. They taste so good when I dip them in PB2 or just on their own. And I can't lie, sometimes I finish this whole pack in less than two days. So, there's that for you. The next thing that I got is actually something that I've never bought before, but I have it a lot, are the deli sliced banana peppers. You know when you go to Publix or Subway or any type of sandwich place and you can ask for banana peppers? Yeah, I got this because I love having banana peppers all the time. And last time I actually put it on a salad from Publix and it was so good and it shocked me how good it was. So I thought it'd be a nice addition to some salads. Or if I make a sandwich, which is unlikely, but you know, it can happen. Last time I tried a sandwich, it was the Grinch sandwich. So I, I don't know how, how long it's gonna take me to wanna eat a, a sandwich again. And then the second to last thing that I got is this hummus. There was a point where I had a hummus in the fridge and I wasn't eating it at all and I felt so bad, but I really didn't wanna eat it. So I just kinda stopped buying it for about a month and a half. But now I have it back because I think I like it again. And I always get either the roasted garlic one or I will get the roasted pine nut. But I also have tried the roasted red pepper. Or classic. I like all of them. That, that's what I'm trying to say. I like all the hummuses from Aldi. <laughs> and then the last thing that I got actually isn't super exciting. I don't know why I saved it for last. I'm kind of an idiot. But it is tofu. I have two other packets in the fridge, so I only need to buy one. By the way, all this food is to last me about two weeks. Fingers crossed <laughs> and if you're curious about how much i spent i spent 72 dollars this week but that's for two weeks and sometimes if i spend a lot of money at one point it's probably because i'm bulking up on stuff and other times it's just because i need some essentials and they're quick and fast so my groceries tend to range from literally 20 dollars to 80 depending on what's in the fridge and what's in the pantry and I think that's normal for me, and I'm okay with that. This is a quick video, but it actually took me a while to film because my family makes too much noise. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I bid you adieu, au revoir, adios, and aloha. Bye. If you haven't eaten today, please go make sure you get something to eat. You deserve food every single day, even if you ate a lot yesterday, even if you think you don't deserve to eat food because you're trying to lose weight, you deserve food all the time, every single day.